All right, but when you say that uh, we never lost the elections, he talks about disorganization in regards to agents who are never present in some polling stations, a loophole that opened an avenue for possible rigging is what he says, and uh, you discount the outcome by the electoral body, but the announcement as announced by the then Wafula Chebukati led poll body was as well agreed with by the Supreme Court following the petition that you had filed. What do you mean that as, by, uh, we never lost the election? As, as you have uh, come to realize just recently, the Supreme Court is not the uh, citadel of, you know, wisdom. That it, it is possible for you to disagree with the Supreme Court. It is possible for the Supreme Court to get it wrong. And we will go through these issues, in fact, because one of the things that we have uh, uh, put on the table, even in the national discourse right now, is that there is a way to establish with finality uh, who won that election. The truth is somewhere in, in, in a server that uh, we, we argue is a public property. It's, it is our property. Okay. And if we want to settle this truth with finality, there is a way we can ascertain that. Uh, if you saw the reports yesterday by uh, uh, the civil society groups led by AFRICOG, they themselves have explained to you, their experts demonstrated to you, that in fact the servers were never opened. We have made it very clear that in fact the truth is in the server. And whatever that truth is, uh, my brother, once we establish that truth, mm -hmm. we in the opposition will be able to congratulate whoever it is, is demonstrated to have won that election. And in fact, the Supreme Court itself would want to know what the truth is because they were... Uh, blindsided on the question of uh, the server. They did issue an order for scrutiny, and the scrutiny requires that you scrutinize every technology that was utilized. They did, we did not get to, to see that uh, happening, but yet they went ahead to make the decision that they made. So I, I can assure you, my brother, that uh, it, 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 it does not matter. The truth is somewhere, and we, are, okay. we deserve the truth as Kenyans, and once that truth comes out, I will be the first person to say yes, okay. I agree. But, but when you, before you go to uh, Senator Galwale, when you say that uh, the Supreme Court, uh, on, on, on its part of the scrutiny, scrutiny was done on two fronts. At for other House of the Supreme Court, where I was present, yes. uh, when the petition was ongoing, and the other at the IEBC, where it's headquartered, that is uh, the anniversary towers. And then it also corroborated that what the IEBC posted was as well what uh, the scrutiny process had revealed. In fact, the report that was put out by Africa yesterday, and uh, I wish you would allow me to refer to it, because it has made very clear that, in fact, the, 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 the court prematurely filed the scrutiny report before the experts were able to access the server. And this is the part of the issue that we need to bring out during these discussions, that there is nothing wrong with availing yourself with the truth. If the truth is somewhere, we, we owe it to ourselves as Kenyans to find out. Because this question of uh, elections and who won is critical. The yeah. question of legitimacy is critical, even in the decisions that the people who then end up in power are taking. Thank you. But I am saying uh, people can write all the books they want to write. Uh, you cannot, the, the focus should be on the fraud. Right. You cannot tell me that because you did not put a watchman at the gate, then I am to blame if people break into my house. 